And as the uh, confusion spread over why the chronic fatigue syndrome was coined, and people lost track of the original evidence, the scare went right out of it. Everybody who read about the Lake Tahoe incident and knew of our in, uh, evidence was very scared of it. They took it extremely serious. It took about six years before the memory of what had happened to fade to the point where people began thinking of chronic fatigue syndrome as nothing more as uh, a vague problem of middle-aged women who uh, can't get their life together. Yeah, it was very interesting how the CDC managed to promote a rumor that this was a psychological illness when if you examine the Holmes 1988 chronic fatigue syndrome definition, it very clearly states that other conditions that mimic this problem must be excluded. One of these is chronic psychiatric disease. This is not equivocal. Must be ex excluded is very, very clear. So theoretically, in order to even begin your study of chronic fatigue syndrome, psychiatric disease is already ruled out. And somehow the medical profession seems to have overlooked that, which is probably about the greatest medical error in their entire history.